Hey guys, this is the Mr. Rockstar over at Android Tech Heroes. Um, doing another ROM for Mantle Scout for Live. This one right here is the infamous build liquid jelly bean ROM. Not 4.11, not 4.04, but 4.12. The newest of the jelly bean ROM builds, and I love it. This is one of the best ROMs I've ever seen. Uh, I've tried every ROM, but I keep coming back to this ROM for some reason because it is awesome. But first and foremost, all the work belongs to Liquid0624 and Sign Engine Mod. Um, go give those guys a thumbs up and give some donations because they did all the build work. But uh, after you're done with that, stop by Mantle Scout for Lives. Give him a thumbs up, maybe even a donation or two because he brought it over to us. Um, and then after you're done with that, maybe you might want to come over here, hit a like on mine, and uh, leave me a question, any comments you have on it, subscribe, I do a lot of, um, I and we do a lot of uh, reviews and um, noob tutorials and all kinds and stuff like that. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you should always use twerp when um, wiping or when you um, flash this ROM. I, I use Clockward Mod, that's just what I like, but you can also use uh, twerp and uh, always wipe system and factory reset. Those are one of the main two things you want to do. Uh, the Bluetooth fix has been um, fixed as we know it, and that's uh, due to Carvin's, I believe, Bluetooth fix. I don't know how you say that, but um, as for gaps, um, you want to flash the liquid jelly bean version 2.0 RC5 gaps because this is the RC5 version. Alrighty. Um, this ROM contains a Cyanogen mod kernel, but if you want overclocking, you can flat you can flash the Flapjacks Hotcakes kernel or DeGreats kernel. Um, both are great kernels. I'm not gonna lie, but um, I just like Flapjacks a little bit better. Uh, there's there's no contest there, but um, you know. The, don't ask me why, I just do. But this is the Liquid Smooth Jelly Bead version 2.0 RC5. Um, he's worked very, very hard and long, as I can tell. I've talked with him, and this is one of his proudest projects. He does have another ROM that's called Cookies and Cream, CNC, and we will do another ROM on that one later. But, um,. A ROM review on that one later, but as for now, we're going to do this one, Liquid Smooth. Um, don't mind the slime bean um, back in the background. That's just my my wallpaper that I did. But when you flash this, this is basically exactly what it's going to look like when you flash it. I love it. It's very smooth, very fast. Everything pops up. I mean, as you can tell, look how quick that is. I mean, it's just it's amazing, and it's it's just one of the best builds I've ever seen. Um, so we're going to go over it. We're going to go over um, all the cool differences that he's um, basically changed um, from the change log so that nobody really knows. You can read it all in the OP. Everything I'm saying uh, can be found in the OP. Most stuff, um, most people don't really like to read, so that's why I do it for you. Um, as for color and an alignment, uh, the color and alignment for the clock, you can basically do left, right, or center of the clock, and you can you can turn that color into anything. You can even do the day of the week or AM or PM. That works. Um, from the lock screen, we're going to do the lock screen. Um, this is how it looks. I, I've already out, you know, like decked mine out, but this is how um, it looks. Uh, you can go to Google, camera, unlock. You can even do your weather um, your your weather up here and your calendar down here, charging, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and your time. So um, anything else that's been changed, the lock screen layouts have been changed from one to four to five to eight. So when you when you're, um, get the lock screen right here, instead of it being three, you can have all the way up to eight eight of them and you can choose that um, uh, it's pretty cool so I only have three because I only like three so um, other than that we can do that as you can tell we have CRT off not CRT on but we do have the CRT so that's great um, force tablet mode with DPI changer and a custom nav bar targets all the way up to seven you can force this into tablet mode by going into settings um, he's got three cool things that now he's got liquid launcher liquid splasher and theme chooser um, When you go to liquid launcher, that's just a home screen drawer and general stuff But the cool stuff and the nitty-gritty TDP stuff is in liquid splasher um, You would go to interface and you would go all the way down and you would hit force GPI um, 
tablet UI. This will switch it, you to tablet UI mode and it does require a U-boat or a U, uh, <laughs> a U-boat. Yeah, the Germans are coming to sink your your phone. Uh, but it does require a reboot. LC density can be changed and everything like that. When you go to LC density, you've got all your kinds of um, densities you can change and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So check that out. It's awesome. It, it It's cool. You can even kill your boot, boot animation right here to make your phone um, boot up quicker. Um, I'm going to try to hurry as fast as I can so we can make this a quick video. Lock screen. In your lock screen, you got your clock um, alignment, your background. You can do lock screen color. You can do your battery status on, your weather on, your calendar on, security, almost basically anything, even shortcuts. Navigation. Navigation will, um, if you enable, enable the nav bar, you can do all the way up to all kinds of cool actions. It's really awesome, even the glowing uh, and um, transparency. You should check that out. Power menu, same thing. When you hit the um, power menu to do this, this is what you get. I did power off, reboot. When you hit reboot, of course, you get your reboot, recover, and download. And you can choose all that stuff by right here. Um, the sound, same thing. You just add the cool sounds. Toggles, uh, my toggles are right here and you can add that and you could add even more. You can even change the style if you wanted to do the um, uh, tablet style. This is how you do the tablet style. It's awesome. Um, really cool stuff. Uh, you can even do all that and change all that color and transparency. The brightness location, you can even hide it. Look, don't show on bottom or on top. I've got mine on top and as you can see it's right here on top. This is the the um, the brightness location. Um, or you can even reset all those toggles. The status bar is where it gets really cool. The battery icons, you can change your battery icons from icon only to make it a, a text only where it does the percentage only. You can do the icon and percentage. You can do the icon and percentage in the middle or the circle mod, which I like mine better. I like mine circle, so uh, you can do that. And you can change the colors of all those stuff. The battery bar thickness thing, um, that's right here. Um, as as it as your battery lowers, it will it will sink down into the middle. You can even you can do that, or you can have it um, return to the battery style, which is on the regular side. So as your bar dwindles, um, your battery dwindles. But I like mine um, in the middle and entering right here. It's even got an animation when you charge it where it do, it shoots like little dots towards it so that way you know that your clock is, or that your battery is charging. You get your clock style, AM, PM, if you can if you want to do that day of the week. I showed you that guys earlier right here. Um, oops, let me show you. Um, where you can you know, do your uh, Tuesday day of the week or PM. You can even change that to the PM so you can make it even bigger. You can make it disappear. You can make the Tuesday disappear. You can make it even bigger. Um, it's great. All kinds of cool stuff. Um, I believe. Okay. And, and widgets. Uh, you can make your power widgets come up. That's even cool. Um, status bar stuff that we were in. Uh, all that kind of cool stuff is is there. Uh, Wi-Fi signal color. Uh, everything can be changed. The brightness can control. That thing is awesome. Adjusted brightness by sliding across the status bar. So if I wanted to unbright my, my phone, all I got to do is just slide it across. And it will darken. If I want it brighter, as you can tell, it will brighten up. It's pretty cool. I like that. Notification count. That will basically tell you how many emails you've missed. And it will have like your email signal or your text bar signal. And it will say that you've missed four emails or however many missed emails you do have. When you get down here to optimization, um, be sure that you um, are very careful what you mess with down here. Because it can mess up your um, your performance. Uh, your Like your minimum frequency and your maximum frequency. Make sure you set it on boot if that's what you want. Uh, I've got my on 1.8 um, but um, it's barely a difference you would keep it on 1.5 1.7 is about what um, what you want up startup and processor um, I'm not gonna get into those because I really don't know about those I would just leave them alone and then you get your theme chooser which is really cool as long as you're rooted and as long as you have CM9 or CM10, you can download any of those um, really, really cool themes that they get out. Just look on the market, say CM9, CM10 themes, and you will it'll bring up a crap load of them. 
awesome cool ones. I use Team Holo just because it's really such a cool um, color. Um, but there's so many of them, and uh, most of them you can buy for like 99 cents, $1.99. But if you look really, really hard on Google, I didn't say this out loud, you can find them for free. Um, everything else is just regular. There are a couple of bugs that I did want to mention. Um, when you get into developer options, make sure that um, two things are checked. Make sure that your force GPU rendering is checked because it um, uses, uh, it makes it quicker for 2D to like 2D things like apps to open up quicker and stuff and disable your HW overlays. This always uses your GPU for screen comp comp um, compositing, which means is that when you're in a uh, compositing, which means when you're in YouTube, I've noticed that the um, YouTube video overlays the um, um, menu buttons. Like you can't push play or pause or you can't do any of that to the thing so when you when you do that um, go into that status or system standing um, systems settings uh, developer options and you click that HW um, overlay thing it'll fix that problem and that way you can push play and all that kind of stuff um, things that also have been um, changed of course I told you all about the tablet mode with the DPI changer and stuff like that. Um, that's basically about it. Other than this Liquid Smooth Jelly Bean 2 version 2.0 RC5 ROM, I would recommend trying it out. It is one of the best ROMs I've ever reviewed. Um, I, I try all the ROMs and I keep coming back to it. I just can't help it. Mantle Scout for Life has done a great and tremendous job for bringing this over for us. I'm very happy with it and I'm very happy with him. Um, so uh, give him a thumbs up if you have uh, any questions or comments make sure you do it in the comment questions and uh, below subscribe to my channel and there's a lot more uh, reviews coming I'm doing next I'm doing uh, a collective ROM and I am doing a cookies and creams ROM that is also by Mantle Scout for Life but if, um, if I were you I would check out this ROM this is the Liquid Bean RC5 to version 2.0 ROM and I'm going to go through system settings real quick about phone and let you see that version 4.12 hey there he is jelly bean man you hold it down you get the jelly beans flying jelly beans love it and uh, that is about it this is Mr. Rockstar at Android Tech Heroes signing off see you guys next time thanks